So here we have a blank sketch. At this point, I'm just going to open up an existing sketch. Which is a basic blink. I'm not going to go into the intricacies of, of how this works. Um, there's plenty of tutorials out there on, on how to write this code. Uh, this is mostly about wiring this stuff up properly and uh, maybe doing a little bit of logic here to get the desired outcome. But this is a, a stock blink program that we define our LED as an output and it's pin 13 mode is output and then we're telling it to turn it high delay for 150 which is a second and then turn it back low and then we're going to delay that for a thousand and what we can do here is we can go ahead and upload that. Select our output. And we're done uploading. This is the development platform that we're working with here again. As you can see, I've put away the, uh, the breadboard for now that uh, we put together the breadboard Arduino. And you can see here that I've got a AT mega processor and, and or microprocessor and we need to line up the notch that's on here to the notch that's down here. So when we're talking about placement, we make sure all of our pins align. It's important to do this without bending anything, but sometimes you need to bend these pins in a little bit so they line up with our socket. contact everywhere. Looking good. So there she is, all plugged in. This is a fresh microprocessor at this point. It does have the Arduino bootloader on it, and that's going to uh, allow us to program this via the Arduino IDE. So we'll plug this guy in. And at this point, we're really just getting power. An easy way to determine is if our program is working. The um, pin 13 on the UNO is wired directly to this surface mount diode. That's right over here. And you can see we're getting blink. If we were to wire this up to this little breadboard next to it, it would light a uh, LED as well. As you can see here, I've transferred the uh, AT Mega chip out of 
the development platform and onto our breadboard. One thing I will say is I did make an error in setting this up. This resistor I had plugged into the ground side rather than the uh, than the hot side, and so no, you know nothing ever really works the first time you do it. Um, even if I've put a few of these together before, so I, I did some component level troubleshooting prior to this. Luckily, this is a pretty simple setup. Really, we've only had these few wires and basically a component at a time. The one thing that did save me though is having this LED over here was showing that I was getting power all the way through. So I didn't have to troubleshoot that part of it, but my light wasn't blinking when I first plugged this in. So a little behind the scenes there. And uh, I have this battery, it's a nine volt. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna supply nine volts here and this is going to regulate it down to five for the Arduino to be able to uh, to do this without fizzling out on me. I'm going to go ahead and boot this guy up and you can see that my power indicator is on. This is a great troubleshooting tool and then here is my blinking LED. So this is mapped to pin, pin 13 uh, for output and I just have this little white LED that's blinking here. So this does a few things for me. Test my program, which we already kind of did, but also test this setup right here. So now that I know that I have a, a working breadboard, I can move on and do more complex uh, programming type activities. And we'll, since this is a decent sized breadboard, we'll probably just do it all on board here. And when we get to putting this into a model of some sort, we may use a proto board or something like that to put everything together in more of a compact package than what we have here.